HTML tutorial three. We're looking at adding links to a web page, both internal links and external links, adding unordered lists, ordered lists, and lastly, adding tables to a web page. I'm using Atom, but you can use whatever text editor you want. So let's open up Atom or whatever text editor you're using. Open a new file. If you're following along with the videos in order, and your files are just kind of all over the place right now, then just go to your desktop, create a folder, and put all the files into there. It's better to stay organized instead of having all your HTML files in different locations like we did in the first two tutorials. It just gets kind of confusing when you're linking to different files. It's better to have everything in one organized folder. Let's save this file. video3.html and let's just open up a simple HTML template. I've got my atom set up so that all I have to do is hit exclamation mark tab. I'll put a link in the description for how to download the plugin that I use for these shortcuts. It's just called Emmet and it's really easy to install and start using. Or you can just type out what we made in the first two videos which was just something that looked like this. Just a simple HTML template. our page a header we're gonna use an anchor tag which is essentially just a tag that points to another location or file so we have the opening tag and the closing tag and inside of the opening tag we're gonna put an attribute called href which is hypertext reference href equals and then in quotation marks we're going to put the link to the site that we're linking to let's just link to facebook so this is where the link's going to go to the hypertext reference and that's inside of the opening tag and then in between the opening tag and the closing tag we're going to put the text for the link so we'll write Facebook. So that's what the user will see. They'll just see the text Facebook. And then it'll bring them to wherever the href attribute points to. And let's make a few more of these. Let's link to Google and YouTube. or wherever you want to link to. Let's save this and then open it up in our browser. And of course we didn't include any line breaks, so right now everything's just written on the same line. That looks better. And let's make a heading two. Call it whatever you want. I'm assuming if you watch the first few tutorials that you have some other HTML files on your computer that you can link to somewhere. I'm just using the HTML files from the fourth and fifth video that I'm going to make. And to link to those, it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing as when we linked to these websites up here. So we're going to have an anchor tag. And inside the opening tag, we're going to have the href attribute. But this time, I'm going to put in the location of the HTML lessons. You'll remember from the last video using relative file paths. So that's what I'm going to put in here. The files that I want are in the same folder as the HTML file that we're making right now. So all I have to do is put in the titles of these. Let's copy and paste it and make another one to some other HTML file that you have somewhere on your computer. And let's remember our line break this time. Save and refresh. And this is what we have now.
Click on lesson four, it brings us to this form that we're gonna make in the next video. And when we hit lesson five, it's gonna bring us to what we're gonna do in the fifth video. And now we're gonna have some fun with some lists. So first we're gonna make an unordered list. The tag for that is just gonna be a UL. There's the opening tag and slash UL for the closing tag. And in between these, we're gonna make our list items. That's LI for list item. Let's just list off some animals. And you'll notice that I indented each of these list items from where the unordered list tags are. And that's just to keep everything looking nice and organized. I said in the last video that we'd touch on white space and indentation a little bit. Just to summarize those topics briefly, what they mean is just indenting every time that you're in a new layer. So list items are all indented here because they are inside of the unordered list and the unordered list is indented in from the body because it's inside of the body. The code's gonna run fine either way. The reason that we do it is just to keep everything looking nice and organized so that it's easy to read and understand. Let's save and refresh this. Here's our unordered list. Now let's make an ordered list. OL for ordered list. And again, we're gonna have list items. Let's list some school subjects. Physics. Math. And computer science. And here's our ordered list. Pretty much the same as the unordered list, just the ordered one obviously has the numbers in front of it. Next up, we're gonna make our table. So we have our table tag and closing tag. And we're gonna have four rows in our table, or you can put however many you want to in yours. I'm gonna make four rows. TR for table row. Just gonna copy and paste these four times. And I'll go back to the table that I'm gonna make since I already wrote it out. This is what my table's gonna look like. So the first row is this one here that has all the headers in it. And to get that first row bold, we're just gonna use the TH tag. So we're gonna use a TH tag for table header. Going back to here, we have one, two, three, four table headers. So we'll copy and paste that four times. We have country, population, GDP per capita, and percentage of population in extreme poverty. You can put whatever you want to in here for your table. These are the ones I'm going with. GDP per capita in USDs and percentage of population in extreme poverty. So if we save and refresh this, it'll just give us the first row of the table here. So there's the first row. And you'll notice it doesn't look as neat and tidy as it does over here because we don't have a border. To put in the border, we're just gonna go into the table tag and give it the attribute border. We'll put border equals one, that'll be one pixel. So it looks a little bit more neat now. And for the next row in the table, we have Canada with a population of 37.59 million, GDP per capita of $46,194 and 0.2% of the population in extreme poverty. And for the last row, we use table headers because we wanted it in bold. For this one, it's just regular table data items. So we're gonna use TD for table data. Just trying to keep everything nice and neat here. K 
Canada with a population of 37.9 million. The GDP per capita was $46,194 and 0.2% in extreme poverty. And I got a little bit carried away and got these table row tags messed up. Let's just clean those up. Let's save and refresh this. And there we have our second row. Now let's fill in the next few rows. While we're at it, let's put these into the next rows just to save some time. The next row on the table was Guatemala and 8.8% living in extreme poverty. Next up we had Nigeria, 2,229 and 39.1%. And there we go, we got our full, nice, organized table with the one pixel border.